So, 15. Alright. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Diablo 3 from a casual point of view. Sorry you missed us last week, but we're now on episode number 15. 15. 15. Because the Maybe other video, 16. we said something. No, motherfuckers, 15. Okay. Where basically, uh, we talk about Diablo 3 from the casual point of view. Not necessarily. I guess, well, now it's kind of involved to like a Diablo podcast, I would say. But uh, Nathan plays the game casually. I play it hardcore. We got both spectrums of the discussion here, so we can see uh, what's going on with Diablo and just talk about what's going on in the game and whether or not we agree with it or not. So, <clears throat> so far, so uh, how has everything been since we last seen you? It's been two weeks. Uh, your Crusaders seem to be doing very well, and that's probably due to gre- to, to uh, Rifted Forward. Rifted Forward, right? Yeah, I, I started doing Rifted Forward, and you're at 1.2 million sheet DPS. You've made it. So, oh yeah, I I hit. Yeah. Uh, I, after doing Rifted Ford, I literally burned through my 200 gems or key sockets or whatever they're called, keystones, mm-hmm. in probably about half an hour. Uh-huh. I had a good day where they were going off like that. And uh, I got a shit ton of money. I don't have it anymore, but I had like two more zeros. And I got all of, I got my necklace, as everyone at home can see. I got that re rolled for crit chance. I got this ring re-rolled, I got a new weapon, I think, no, I think I had that one. Um, I found this helmet, which was better, and uh, yeah, so I got a huge bump up in damage. And I found a really <coughs> rare, we thinkish weapon. Okay. Well, we're going to be short and sweet and to the point this week. Uh, PTR came out, as you know, and the Lair have been doing a lot of big updates. Um... We're not going to talk about what happened last week because they've already updated it and got it out. Long story short, you know how they're just testing out the greater rifts to make sure the end game is correct? Mm -hmm. A lot of people were exploiting it. I think there was one exploit where uh, when your pets die as a witch doctor. Mm -hmm. Remember how, uh, if you guys haven't known, the greater rifts is you get a certain time limit. And then basically what you do is you get, let's say, 15 minutes to clear, clear the rift out. You have to kill everything. Not only do you have to make the Rift Boss spawn, but you also have to kill it within the 15 minutes, just as an example. Oh, you have to kill it too? I yeah. thought it was just... No, you have to kill it too. Oh, so shit. So, what That's people hard. were doing with the pets, like sentries for like the uh, mm-hmm. uh, Demon Hunters considered a pet, or pets for the Witch Dodgers considered pets, what happened was this. Um, <clears throat> when your pets would die... It would count as a monster being killed. Oh, really? Yeah, so... So you just basically make them shitty and just let them die. Yeah, and people did that to get to Paragon level... Or get to, to get to level 100. I don't know if that was the complete exploitation. But I, I, I'm assuming that the Rift Guardian would be very, 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 very difficult to kill. But I think with the furnace and some other stuff you could do that i'm pretty sure there was more stuff to it but that was one exploit <clears throat> and everybody got the paragon level one helper that had pets and that could do that actually hmm. i think some other classes too actually had some exploits so basically they patched everything and then in this new ptr version everything well let me put it this way you can get the floor 255 when it's only supposed to be floor level 100 <laughs> but that's a glitch that's just a numerical glitch. <laughs> but in terms of exploiting anything, the only thing people... Have, I, I've noticed that there's not too much exploiting, but it's just using the gems that are kind of over crazy. Like with the conduit pylon always proccing and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They have that one legendary gem that basically procs the, uh, the conduit effect. That one's pretty crazy. And then smite, they had a tone down because it was smiting every single time you triggered it. I have something it. with smite. I don't That's know your does. skill, but it procs. And then it does this holy damage, so if you're Crusader, mm-hmm. that's going to be something nice to have. And, um, I'll say this so much about the gems. <clears throat> they can only go in rings or necklaces, so you're going to have three. Um, uh, to upgrade a gem, you have to lose into Greater Rift. So, for instance, if you go into a Greater Rift and you clear Thor 30, and then 431 you don't clear, you finish the Rift Boss in 31, then... It has a chance to have the guy who upgrades your gems to appear. Now, upgrading your gems doesn't cost anything. It's just a chance to upgrade. So there's a chance the guy will appear. And then when you upgrade the gem for the first initial levels, it's like 62% chance. Mm. So when you upgrade the gem, it's his fail or success. And if it's success, let's say you had a gem that... They have like one gem. Um, 
Thirty percent increase or twenty percent increased damage on all monsters that are affected by any type of moving impairing effect. It can be a slow, it can be a stun. Anytime they're stunned or whatever whatever happens, they take more damage. So with the first level up, it went up by 0.5%. Okay. And this goes up to level fifty, so that means you can get it up to twenty five percent increase more. Okay. Now certain ones they have to cap, like the pet one, they capped it at forty. Because they just said you just can't start off 20% and gain a percent for the next right. 50, uh, tw- uh, 50 levels because then it would be ridiculous. So um, my big deal with this, what I've noticed is, is that it's kind of weird to have to finish the rift just to have a chance to see the crafting gym guy. A chance. Or a chance to upgrade your gym. How do you feel? Do you think we should use crafting mats maybe instead and then we get a guaranteed upgrade chance or you think that's too much or maybe he always spawns there and then, you know, then at least it's still a a great chance. Do you think they're handling it the right way or you feel that they can change that? Because that's kind of weird to me. Is it the same guy? Same guy. Then that's dumb. Make it a new guy, at least. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's a new guy, but it's the same guy in the rift. Keep in mind, it only shows up when you fail a rift, meaning that you ran out of time. Don't you always fail a rift? Eventually? Well, eventually, you're going to fail a rift, right? But like, if you beat the rift, you go on to the next level. So once you get to a level where you can't beat it, like in terms right. of maybe you can beat it, but you can't beat it within the time frame he appears. Right. Oh, okay. So, um, I don't mind it that much because it's going to change. This is classic Blizzard thinking. We'll get have something that's really rare, and pe- and then people will complain, and then they'll change it, and then it won't be such a big problem. I think so. Do you, I, the thing I don't like is that what they should do is they should just... I mean, I know we have a lot of NPCs already. You can give him, like, a little flagpole he stands by. That could be his little area. It doesn't have to be a grand area where he's just floating there. Who are you? I'm the guy who upgrades the gyms. Now, you're going to have to figure out, like, how to make it so you upgrade or you can tell that you just finished a rift. Or maybe they give you an extra token or something, and that allows you for one upgrade on the gym. I would like to see it as he's random in the place. Like, what do you mean? Literally, he is random within the uh, rift. Mm-hmm. So, like you said, he could be sitting there floating with a little flag... And it's either go talk to him and, you know, waste your time to kill the Rift Guardian or, holy shit, he never shows up. I don't care if I lose this Rift. I'd rather be kind of like that. So every time you go through a Rift, because what sucks is you, you always start at one, right? Right. So you always have to well, go through one. Well, they change that, but we'll get into that in a okay. second. As of right now. So you always have to go through one. Then you go up to ten. You have to get through ten. Then you go to 14. You have to go through 14. You have to spend two hours to just have a chance to find him. Or for him to find you. But if he was just randomly in it, like, okay, every 30 rifts, he'll appear. But that's if you go into that corner. So it kind of puts a little more stress, like, okay, I've got so many more. That kind I'm of way far me. ahead. Let's go run over here, see if he's you over here. you remember the gym shrine back in Diablo 2? Maybe they should include something like that. I'm trying to remember the gems. gems. Oh, yeah, where it would take a random gem you have and, and proc it up one. Yeah, I remember that. But something like that. So, like, in the early levels, you're going to clear out the early levels because, oh, I just don't kill anything. And you're just like, okay. So you're, like, this close to the end, and the other bar is this close to the end. How, so you about, just... how about he shows up at the end of a rift normally, but all the time. I think he should always show up. Because you have a chance to upgrade. But how about this? Take your idea and turn it into a gem shrine. So if you're inside here, you find the gem shrine, you touch it. Mm. Maybe it's out of the way, but you touch it, then it randomly upgrades one of your gems that you have. Of the legendary ones that you have on. Yeah, but then I I would see people doing that for that. So they'll just open level one, run around. No, basically what it is is, or make it so that it's a shrine, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And upgrades one of your gems that you have equipped on. Make it so that it sh- has a higher chance to show up the higher the level. Right. And make the shrine a chance to give you upgrade. Mm. So, like, have it be a mystery shrine? It exactly. Could be, it could be a conduit or it could be Or actually, no, room. have it be a gem shrine, but have it only show 
the higher you go, the higher chances it will be there. Whereas the right. lower levels, it won't be there. Yeah, and right. then if it's at a higher level, it gives you a higher percent chance of getting maybe at a higher at the high at higher levels like thirty or higher. You just set it so it has a twenty five percent chance or a thirty percent chance to give one of your gems an upgrade. It's it's icing on the cake. I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see uh, what's going on. I'm trying to think what else. Um, but we both agree they need to change it a little bit. Yeah, it's too random. The and, chance and they to will get change him? it because if people complained about this and they changed it, they're going to complain about anything. You know? I would so. say make it if he if he has a chance to appear, then make him always upgrade a gem. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or make him appear every time, guaranteed hundred percent. And the and the random is random. And then you know, have it like. Have it have a chance to upgrade the gym, but make it like this. If this is the fourth time you tried upgrading it, then we're just going to give it to you. So you start at 25%, and then every time you increase by 25? Until so it, one it says, four. okay, the last three times we messed, we messed you on RNG, so we're just going to give it to you. So it's one in four chance. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I see that. <sighs> okay, so we talked about that, guy. So the gym upgrader guy... That can easily be for Dangle. Now, the big problem is is balancing the gems themselves. They have reduced a lot of the gems and stuff like that. The biggest offenders right now, uh, I won't go through all the gems right now. I mean, if you guys want to check them out, they're actively available on websites. But we got to talk about the Conduit the conduit uh, gem, which is pretty really ridiculous. Uh, and uh, there's another gem that uh, procs the smite. And what I really realize is... Those that had extra DPS on top of what you're already doing, yeah, you lose certain stats inside your rings and stuff like that, but that Mindy Conduit is really good. Like, mm. I know people say, oh, you know, it's like 2 to 3 million damage. It's extra damage. 2 to 3 million damage. It's extra, <laughs> and it procs like crazy. And if I remember, if it works like the Shrine, all you do is walk, and it just attacks them. You don't actually have and to click on them, so... it's lightning property. So you can actually have... If you have a class that has lightning damage increase... Haha, <laughs> really? Damn. You think it would just be arcane? Yeah, you would You would figure that, but for some reason... I don't know. I think Blizzard needs to take that out of the game in general. I, I, it's, I know people say it's weak and stuff like that, but it's like not really. I think it scales with lightning damage which means you can increase the damage it means if you're going lightning build that's the perfect thing to get and they even got like a belt that increases lightning damage it gets pretty ludicrous yeah I don't know if I like the conduit gem that just seems like once you had that it would be broken as shit now what they could do is make it so that it brings all the enemies into an area into you when you proc it like it sucks everybody else in and I'm trying to think there's a secondary effect for it. I can't remember for the life of me without getting a PTR, but all these gyms have secondary effects, but I remember the secondary effects are really good. And also for the smite, the smite is uh, secondary effects pretty good. Like smite, like you have a percent chance to smite enemies on the screen. And what stuff is smite? Like Just auto kill? Or? It's uh, pretty much what you have. It does what you have because you have the skill smite, uh, if I am correct. Let me see here. Yeah, right there. Uh, Smite does enemies to 30 yards away with holy chains that deal a damage or large amount of damage. The chains break off and strike nearby enemies dealing lesser damage. See, I don't think it does that. It does something a little bit different, but it's. I think it's... Because I have skill. some random weapon that does something with Smite. It's, uh... What is it called? The Sky Cutter. Or, not the Sky Cutter, or it's like an axe. It's that one right there. Yeah, there it is. Sky Splitter. Yeah. And that has a chance to smite enemies. So... I don't know if it's the same. I just remember seeing it. Well, the it. only reason I said they had to worry about this because they had a uh, shard of hate and they had proc problems with that. And I'm thinking if you run shard of hate, which does lightning damage procs off of when you do lightning attacks, right? And you're running like the lightning belt, and you're using thunder fury, and you have all these proc effects on. Let's say that the damage is okay, right? Think about this. You're in a group and you're running that shit. How horrible you think that's gonna be on people's CPUs and stuff like that and slowing down the game with so all these sparks? It is like a lightning show. So you're worried about somebody else's computer. Can you imagine everybody <laughs> just doing that? As soon as the barbarians and the monsters are attacking, just a big <laughs> just <laughs> whirlwind. I had to put on glasses yesterday. I put on glasses on stream because it was that bad. I actually had to lower the gamma on my monitor. That's how much the shit was going off. That's kind of funny. I don't know. People say it's not overpowered, but I just say it needs to be watched. Uh, I, li I like I was saying I don't like it. I think um, I think that's one of those things. Once you get it, it make the game's too easy. Because if you can literally just run around in circles, 
and not do anything. Well, the thing is, it, it procs constantly. If you have enough attack speed with some... There's, like, another item that... Okay, I was using uh, the Rhino Flailer build with the toads and stuff. You're right. I had a legendary gem. Every time I attack, and I got upgraded one level, it has a 50% chance to proc a 3 second 2% attack speed increase, and it stacks up to 10 times. And every time I proc it, it refreshes the stack, or the buff. Right. So, at 10 stacks, I get 20% increased attack speed. That's a lot. And then at the top level, the secondary feature, secondary function, once you get to level 50, is, uh, I'm trying to think what it does. Oh, it gives you cooldown reduction. So every time you trigger it, it gives you 2% cooldown reduction, 2% cooldown reduction, stacking up to 10% cooldown reduction on top of that. So, I had the 20% attack speed increase, so my attack speed was at 2.8 attacks per second, which is almost 3 attacks per second, which is ludicrous. Yeah. Combine that with the mini conduit shrine, and then combine that with smite, the smite one. Hmm. So, I got to floor level 31 where I was having problems with, and I used it. I cleared 31 with the whole minute and a half to spare. It skipped me up to 33, or 34. Hmm. So... It doesn't look too crazy right now, but I think there's going to be some builds that are going to look into it. Those are the only gems that are worrying about me. The other gems are not too bad, but I am kind of worried about those two gems out of all the gems remaining. Because they did reduce a lot of the other ones. Like, they had one legendary gem that used to get 50% increased primary uh, primary skill damage. So, like, if you use, like, uh, like if you're using, what's this skill called? Yeah, Punish. Punish is counted as a primary, so Punish would be increased by 50% damage. Oh, wow. So... They toned that down to 25%. Because keep in mind, it starts at 50, and then every level you upgrade it, it goes up. So I understand <laughs> they had to reduce it down to 25, because when you get 50 levels, increase 75% damage to primaries is good, but not too bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're basically at the watch on that, but I think the conduit, like we both said, it's just a little weird. It's just so weird. You know, but we'll just have to basically wait and say... But anyways, let me think. So, okay, we got we talked about the, the gym woman who upgrades the gyms. We talked about which gyms are crazy. Overall, are you happy there, including these gyms to the game? Now, the gyms are real easy to get, and the one and you only have to get the gym once, and then it'll never drop for you again, so you don't get duplicates. Do you like the gym idea? Do you see yourself using these gyms in the future? Um, I, I wouldn't not use them. I doubt I'll ever find one, because the chances of me going into PTR or into, you know... Well, once it goes live. Right, but I, I don't think I'm going to start a character from one. No, actually, you don't have to start from one. The, the gems are going to be live immediately available. Oh, oh so okay. So you don't have to start a new ladder character. You I can just go was... into a game. No, you can go right into okay. a game and get them. Um, if I ever run into one, I'd use it if I thought its effects would be good. See, the problem is I have a hard time not looking at stats. Like, when, it's, when it just says 10% you know, holy damage. I can't see that in my damage. Therefore, it doesn't register. So, if it just says... Um, it would need to be something that tells you straight up something like... When you... when you uh, Every time you land an attack, you have a chance to do this damage that does a thousand damage. Yeah. It'd have to be something concrete where you can be like... Even though I'm losing 5% damage here, I'm getting this proc effect, which ends up making more damage. It needs to be something cut dry. Like, I think they need to add something to the details window, like here at the bottom or at the very top, where it has... Well, they started adding things like Punisher, Punish Damage, and Bless Shield Damage by 20%. Oh. Okay. Then but, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah. They beat you to uh, it. Yeah. Good. All right. Awesome. <laughs> now, now I don't have to worry about it. But I, I definitely see what you're saying. It's hard to kind of gauge your DPS. It's hard to tell. If they had like a test dummy, you could test it on the test dummy. You can just be like, oh, I did 10,000 more damage in 30 seconds as opposed to what I would do. Yeah, like this, uh, the bovine brochide or whatever that's called. Right. Is it worth it to take the 9.2 damage hit? Are the uh, ghost cows really that good? You know, why not tell me how much the ghost cows do? Actually, oh, like that's true. Like ghost cows do a thousand percent of your weapon let's damage. Let's see if it tells me. Is no, it there? So, no. Is there ghost cows? No. Is there ghost cows? God damn it! There's no Where's ghost the ghost cows? cows? Yeah, put the ghost cows there. You gotta figure it out for yourself. So basically, you said you would like to have a way where it can just be straightforward, so you just know. Okay, definitively. Okay, this is well, better. Well, because a lot of them like. I understand that there's an appeal to not knowing what a weapon does, and you figure it out, and you're like. Oh, shit, like, 
even though I don't, I can't hear it, like, squeal uh, with the pig sticker. Okay, but I don't have it's my sound. It's pronounced up. Bardesh. Bardesh? Okay. There's always that one person, but actually, I, I, I always, I've always called that. the bro I, she, I already so. called Bardesh. I used to bring I would butcher the hell out of it. <laughs> hey, did you find a Bardesh? What the fuck are you talking about? Mm, Bardesh? Bardesh? Yeah, that's like uh, trying to pronounce Japanese fighting games. Uh, um, so I would like something that says, you know, what the hell does it say? Damn it. Um, chance on hit to summon a herd of murderous cows. So if you would equip it with say murderous cows do an average of per hit. Oh, so what you're saying is what they need to have for effects, uh, what have for certain things is like, it does the percent damage of your weapon damage, and in parentheses below, based on your current DPS. Yeah. This is what. Just yeah. This is what how much the cows will be hitting for. Just explaining shit like. That one's self-explanatory. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? Thirty-one percent chance to explode with demonic fury when attacking. When you explode with demonic fury, it hits for what the spell. The demonic fury hits for about seventy-eight million. But that's my point. Tell me that. Right. Because I had a furnace and I thought it sucked. Apparently, it's really good. Oh, so what you're saying? They need to I have don't like know little tool tip blow that says. Yeah. Uh, it does. Uh, demonic fury is considered AOE damage that emits around you that damages targets for this percent. So even though you don't know how much, you'll know. Oh, it's an effect that happens when yeah. it happens around me. That's true. So, and unfortunately, this one didn't even roll fucking strength, which I don't understand. I mean, look at it. No strength. It rolled well, poison in, damage, vitality, in the, in, and... In the future, what you could do is you could roll the socket for strength, and then just get the socket item, and it'll automatically socket it. Yeah. And then I found something for... I think it was my Demon Hunter? That my barbar or my uh, Paladin found. Not my Paladin, what am I talking about? Hold on! Yeah. What? When did you find a task in Theo? That's what I'm saying. I found it, but it fucking has strength, but... Fucking, they don't have pets. They yeah, have... they do. No. The... What pets do I have? For barbarians? They have the motherfucking, you could use it on your uh, crusader. Crusader, the Flanix arrow guys, they're considered as pets, so it would make them shoot even quicker. Oh. And then also barbarians, they have their uh, their guardians, what are they called? Uh, that they have, I don't play a barbarian. The ancestral recall, oh, the, ans yeah, yeah, yeah. the one when all your guys come out. They have a barbarian set. That makes it so uh, mm -hmm. they stay out permanently, if I'm correct. The Immortal King set makes them stay out permanently. Maybe. So when you have them stay out immortal, like, uh, stay out as immortals and shit, then you have that, then it makes them attack. That's one of the strongest weapons in game, or gloves in game. Look what I found, then. <laughs> See? I found another fucking thing. I have no idea that what it's that good. What the fuck, dude? Like, really? By 41%. And it actually rolled okay. Attack speed... Critical damage, attack speed suck. You can reroll the critical chance. That's that's trifecta. Like, I'd rather so chance steal stupid. fifteen area damage to. Uh, no, no, area damage sucks. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, reroll that one. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were saying keep it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's just. But either way, see, it's something I don't understand because it doesn't say what a pet is. I would never think a pet would be a phalanx because you don't summon them. They don't summon and run around. Whenever you do a move, they appear and go away. That's to me. That's not a pet. That's a well. Now ability. you know. That's but something that's... that you might want to put on and reroll right away <laughs> and use that skill, and that's your elite killer because now they do damage really fast. That is crazy. So I found it. Anything else you found? <laughs> uh, I think that's that's it. This motherfucker sitting there. Oh yeah, I have this. Like when? Oh, oh shrines this. will spawn an enemy champion. I found that a while. Yeah, ago. a lot of people have that. They use that to. It gets it gets people emo when you click on a shrine and you don't have an do Like I could click on it and make an extra lead mob, but I'm just like, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. It's not like they provide extra like, you know, drop chance or anything like that or extra shit. I have really to figure something. out which ones I need to, you know, get rid of because I've got too many. I my well next week we could do cleaning out your closet if you want, and then also you got to keep in mind on the PTR you are going to be able to buy extra bank stash. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, I'll keep it. So, you might as well just keep it. See, like now. this one. Is this one really that good? Heal for 3% of your missing life when you kill an undead enemy? No, anything that's too specific like that is not. You're too but good. that's what I mean. Like, should I even keep this? Because it sucks as a weapon, so even if it just was... Just hoard everything. Just hoard. You might as well hoard it. Just hoard it. I'm hoarding it. Just I'm hoard hoarding it. it. You can call me Horton. Okay, so... 
Yeah, that's ridiculous. So we talked about the <laughs> we talked about the gym upgrader guy. How many random? And then we talked about what like gyms were crazy. That's so stupid. I'm so jelly now. I'm so frustrated. I'm like, I should give this to Debo. Oh wait, you can't give these things to your friends. Yeah, because there's no trading. Because then people Bullshit. third party stupid guy third party uh, sites would would pop back up. So. So far, I think Blizzard still has a lot to balance with the gyms because they haven't made it possible for us to get a level 50 gym. Who's going to sit there and grind 100 greater ribs? You. No, I'm not. On, PT- <laughs> on PTR, when they wipe everything? No, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to test out the level 50. We're not, we haven't tested a level 50 gym, so we got to test out the level 50 versions of the gyms. Um, they still have to balance things. They still have to make other classes kind of balance and scale around the same point. Then they also had to balance uh, seasons. I think they took out Goblin Rips, the ones that give so much gold. I wanted to point. go in one of those. Well, I Damn think it. they're going to redo it because right. you can't have it on seasons because then you're hurt. Because when you're playing seasons, mm-hmm. you already know what's going to happen. Like pe- one person finds a Goblin Rip, somebody doesn't. One person gets like 100 million gold, the other guy doesn't. So I don't think it's in the game right now. They have to readjust it. I still don't think that PTR is not going to come out till 2.1. But actually, they, they're rushing it, so they might get it out August, but I doubt. I don't think they're going to get it out to September, honestly. If they want to properly do it the right way. If they rush out the PTR in the current state it is right now, it's not a good thing. I It'd agree with that. And then I tell people, don't be surprised if Seasons is not available when Patch 2.1 comes out. Because if Patch 2.1s come out, I tell people, they could just... Think about it. In Patch 2.1, you're having all these new items. You're having the Hellfire Amulet... That's coming out. You got all the changes to the greater rifts. You got, you know, all the. You got a lot of stuff that's changing in game. Not to mention, we haven't even tested the new legendaries. They're trying to redo the old. Le- the old legendaries are trying to redo. So, if we haven't tested none of that stuff out, it's going to be a while, I think, before they release it. And if they release it out in that way, uh, it's going to hurt the game. And plus, that's a lot of shit. Just in general, they can release all that stuff out first and say, "Oh, we're not starting seasons till 2015." Here's for the next four months, play with the legend. And that would give you something to do. Yeah. You still have to go find the other legendaries. You still have to do greater rifts. You still have to upgrade your gems. And then when the game slows down, then they can release seasons. Yeah, because they're going to wait for it to dip before they bring in something new. Mm hmm. I don't know. Because they've already lost their momentum. You can't argue they're going to try and keep it. And I tell people, because if I was a big time company, the way I would do it is this. We have enough content to get people active for four months. With all the new stuff coming to PTR, it will keep people active because it's like, oh, legendary gems. It gives me something else to grind for and yeah. have fun with. And the gem effects are cool. And then right after four to five months, then they can be like, now you get to play seasons where you just start over. Start over. I mean, and I try to tell people that. Now, do I hope that this happens? No, we don't want to say we hope that this happens. It's just when we look at gaming companies and what they've been doing with this lock content... Right. Having, like, stuff locked on the disc that they're going to do for a DLC later and shit like that. And they start doing practices. Like, even most companies, they start developing the DLC before the game is even released. Bullshit. It's just... I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I hope Blizzard doesn't do it. I don't think it'll be out to September. And I don't think we're going to get everything at once. No, I don't think so, too. It's, uh... It's been... Uh, it's not been long enough. Yeah. To, to really get everything perfect. Because they've been having a lot of problems on PTR, like a lot of big problems and shit like that. Yeah, no, I, I don't think we're going to get it all at once. Yeah. I just, you know, if you think about it, it just doesn't happen. Legendary Gems, awesome. Just needs some refinement and some balancing and some polishing. Uh, redoing a lot of the older legendaries so they actually have decent attributes so you don't feel like you're getting wasted stuff. That's also going to be awesome. Uh, they just buffed on PTR. They buffed the two-handed weapons, increased damage, and I do believe that's going to be a retroactive buff. Mm-hmm. So that's also pretty cool. But they are going to nerf the Crusader two-handed ability a little bit. Because, to be fair, you know, when you're going from a weapon that's 2600, it gets buffed up to 3200. Okay, well, we got to kind of tone you down a little bit. I've seen... Well, I've, well, I've seen two-handed weapons that's got up to, like, 4,000 damage with the ruby in that bitch. Okay, that's different. Yeah, so we have to wait and see that. So two-handers buff... I, I'm not going to say too much about that because everybody agreed the two-handers needed a freaking buff because that was silly how some one-handers were getting close and how only Crusader was using two-handers. All classes should want to use two-handers. If, yeah. if given the chance. I don't know. I, th- I think two-handers are kind of a waste personally outside of the Crusader. 
Would you rather have a two-handed crossbow or would you rather have a one-handed crossbow and a quiver that makes it better? Well, you can use a two-handed crossbow and a quiver. But my but okay, but, not, but that's but with that. that. But not the other classes. But, I got but a, a demon hunter is not going to find a fucking like a witch pig. doctor doesn't want to use a two-handed weapon because then they can't use their mojo at all. Demon hunters are allowed, but they're 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 special. Right, but demon hunters have to use crossbows and, and bows. I mean, I mean, you don't have to, right? You could still put on a what's it called a furnace, but your I shit think, is. I don't even think they can equip it. They're not. Oh, a lot but of either way, it's the same. Two handed weapons are kind of pointless, outside you know, specialties. But I think I don't know. I think, I think every class should have a two handed weapon that's special, like. For instance, like maybe barbarians have like a special two-handed weapon, where every time they swing, they have a chance of making an earthquake. Not that they should ever decide to make a weapon like that; that would be horrendous. But as an example, make it so good that it actually is a viable weapon to use. Just like witch doctor, I said, mm-hmm. for like, um, like have like a witch doctor staff, and what it basically does is it gives your pets extra buffs. Like it gives your dogs a chance. Like it happens like this witch doctor weapon, right? Has good stats on, everything's fine. And then it says for your zombie dogs have now a chance to stun on attack. Your gargantuan periodically will explode and reappear doing damage every so seconds. And then your fetishes have a chance of not dying after the time is expired. They have a chance of coming back to life. Right. Have like a witch doctor staff. That actually that they is would want good, to use. They want to use and do that for every class. I just thought of something else. You know how you, they have the special gems? What mm-hmm. if you had a special gem that allowed you to hold a two-handed weapon in one hand? So any class could use it. It's just a gem you would put in your ring. That would be pretty cool. I could see that. So if they I, they need to make more creative too. I think every class should have a nice special two-hander. There, there should be a special weapon for every class. And I know that sounds dumb because there are. But there literally should be like... This is the end all be all for Demon Hunter. This is the the one. And they're really rare, so you're not gonna be like farming for it. Make it completely random where you can find it. Yeah. Or make it a you know, special item, but So pretty much uh Because just having a flail only yeah. crusa- crusaders can use flails, it's not really a special weapon for crusaders. I think more like what you're talking about. There's a weapon that when a crusader or like when the witch doctor holds it these, they don't die anymore. But yeah. Something that just has a bunch on there. So, in general, I think Blizzard is doing a good job. In the sense of, I, I, I get salty when I'm doing greater risks. I will say their ideas and what they're putting into the game is phenomenal and they're doing a great job. Mm-hmm. The part that makes me go crazy is when they need to balance it. Yeah. Because you could put something into the game. Their ideas are wonderful. Um, their effects, what they're adding, they're developing, their systems are pretty much on point. It's just when it comes to the balancing is when I have a little bit of problems for it. Other than that, Blizzard is uh, definitely putting... They have a lot of stuff on their plate still, but if they can deliver, it will probably be one of the best patches ever put in Diablo. If they can manage this well, I would think so. Do you think they're going to bring charms in to this? Yeah, I don't think they're going to shake charms into the next expansion. Just because it's another element that you can add to the game and then level the charms up, and then that could be a whole new thing. Yeah, I think eventually they'll do charms just based on the fact that when you're high, high, high level, you're not picking up anything that's not perfect. You know, so so uh, I think they'll start doing that. Yeah. Mm. I just think they just need to get their hands into balancing stuff and that and they'll be fine and stuff. But other than that, um, let's take a look at some of the items you got. And like I said, this necklace, I'm still trying to get the one that absorbs <laughs> arcane damage. I'm so mad that you got it and you got it in fucking trifecta. Well, I made it trifecta. But... Anyways. You got to um, get on my, my... Actually, before I do that, I want to go to Kadala first. So what are you trying to get now? I, I want to get the uh, one-handed mace. For the Crusader, the one that makes uh, a... Right. Come on. Oh, oh that's no, not it. No, that's, that's an Ariad's Law. No one wants an Ariad's Law. The only thing you use Ariad's Law for is transmogrifying. Oh, and on the server, they have, like, refine all for blues and yellows and whites. So oh, good. So you don't have to do that, yeah. So that is exactly what I fucking said. Great. Blizzard stole another one of your ideas. Yeah. It's like, one year ago, why don't they have a refine all? It doesn't make any sense. You missed one. Uh, I just missed one. Yeah, weapons do take a 
lot. Shit. Yeah, of course they do. They're 15 per. You want the special weapon that makes it so you can spam holy shields all day. You gotta work for it. Does that drop anywhere, or is that just random? It's a random world drop. You can get it scratching your butt one day. You can open up a chest, and the weapon just falls out, and you're just like, really? Really, weapon? This is how you're going to do me? That's how I get most of them. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff you didn't know that was good, which <laughs> is a little disturbing. You got a lot of these. You did a lot of bounty, though. Right on. Yeah, I had to. Uh, I, need that I don't think you're going to get the ring, though. No. Oh! Uh, shoulders, nigga. You got shoulders. Don't get excited. Come on, one more. No. I, no. There's one. I think there's one in there. No, look, so you only look, got shoulders. No, oh, you I only got, got shoulders. I, God damn it. You, the game trolls you. You got shoulders. It's mad because you're wearing these horrible shoulders and you don't want to change them out. And the only reason why he wears his shoulders is because he said, oh, well, you know, I never have to worry about repair costs now. And I'm like, nay dog. Especially no. when I, dude, I'm doing the fucking riffs T6. Dude, I walk in and it's like, hi, everybody. <laughs> I need to fucking. Repair costs are not that expensive, bro. And yet you use the shoulders just because... Because I'm a Jew. You know what? The sad thing is he actually does mean that. What? Nathan is Jewish, so like when he's inside of a game, and this sounds horrible, he actually will be like, well, I don't ever have to spend gold on this because now I can... These shoulders make it so I never have to spend, like, you know, repair costs again. To other people, people use Ogdale's authority for the shoulders because that's like the bracer, the, the shoulders to go to. And then everybody's like getting happy because they're rolling these perfect rolls on these Ogbo shoulders. And Nathan, no, he's he getting happy about that? No, he's getting happy about the shoulders that make it so he never has to have another repair cost again. And the shoulders suck too. I just well, the the Pauldrons, the Hell King, the, these are awesome. But like, you don't want to wear them. But you think it sucks a lot of magic because. The harsh reality is you just want to make it so you don't get those repair costs. But I'm like, well, if you just don't die in the first place, you don't have to worry about that. Well, no, weapons and armor degrade when you take hits and shit. But still, yeah, I still can't believe, yeah, those are shit. When receiving, what is it? Fatal damage. You don't yeah. want those. Well, keep them because the barbarian might need it. <sighs> hey, if I can get some secondary shit on my barbarian, I will. Well, Kadala screwed me again. Anterior. I think you're okay. You got... What you need to do is use your Task and Theo gloves and use Flanix or however you pronounce it, somebody said in the chat. Phalanx. You need to use those. Phalanx. You need to use that because use it with the archers and if you have those gloves on, that will be your boss elite clear, killer. This one's actually better than what I have. And then if you go ahead and you put it with uh, the Ankron's champion and shit and with the cooldown reduction, you can cast the, the, flan the Phalanx... And then cast Archer's Champions or whatever, and then it, it takes all your flailing off cooldown, and then you spam them again. Because yeah. they're on a pretty low cooldown. You can use them once every 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. So you could probably get down to 10 or 9 seconds and just keep spamming them over and over again. I have used those shoulders too. Damn, I'm Jewish too. Yeah, you are. You are. What's up, Kike? Just try do it. Well, yeah, you can do hey, that. Hey, I'm Jewish. I can't say shit to you because I say nigga all the time, yeah. so I understand. Um, so just in general... Um, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing Richter 4. I can't believe over these couple months, or at least last two months, you came from 300k damage and you're at 1.3 million. And you got actually a decent, okay, introductory level gear now. It's Rifted Forward, really. If you're not doing Rifted Forward, you're an idiot. I had to explain to someone yesterday how Rifted Forward worked. That Rifted Forward's so good. No, seriously, I was, I was asking them... He was asking, you know, how does Rift It Forward work? So I, I'm like the only one that cares about other people, so I explained it. And, and, uh, and so once it would pop on, I would go, okay, now. And he goes, okay, I opened the portal. What do I do? I said, no, you have to right-click on their name and ask to be invited to their party. Oh. So another one comes, okay, and join that one. How? The right-click on their name. Like, I don't know if this dude was trolling me, but he was seriously an idiot. So, there you go. Apparently, Rip the Ford is good shit, and you should be using it to gear up your characters. Just getting money. Fuck. That's why I was able to, you know, How because... much money do you have? How much money do you have? A lot more than I usually have. <laughs> Nate Dog gets decided on two million. There's probably one guy in chat room right now, I can't even wipe my ass with two million! I upgrade one of this to see this mojo? Still haven't got what I wanted on it. How much does it cost to reroll? Three million dollars! You know I had like 18 million. 
Yeah. And then, well, because I've got other... Well, you uh, just got it re-rolling, right? Well, I was re-rolling. I got a gem in this one. I got a perfect gem in this one. <laughs> so, I had a lot. It's I just... have my cow spear that makes cow ghost. And I put the highest level gem because we... I want to spawn these cows and then have the cows do damage with me, too. Try it. Just do it. No one uses that weapon. Just tr- just, just play and and wait no for the cows one, to spawn. No one uses the weapon, Nate Dog. Just use it. It's, it's that awesome. That is a horrible weapon. It, it is not. It is like a great. horrible weapon. And why did your guy move so slow? Because I don't have anything to increase Oh, yeah, my I'm sorry. Speed. Witch Doctor is 55% movement speed when pets are not. Yeah, it's, it's passive. Why do you... Okay, I don't, I don't even know what you're trying to build here, so I'm just going to spam shit. Yeah. See, there's my cows. Where's your cow? Right there. It's just four cows. How long do they last? Uh, 30 seconds or so. I wonder if the cows are affected by the... They might be affected by the attack speed gloves. Do they stay... Do, okay, they stay around for 10 seconds, but still, they're not that great. It's cows. It's hilarious. See? Yeah, but... Even Rekoitz is like, moo. People, you know what? Don't say his moo to him in the chat. That's just in telling him it's okay to play with his wet. Well, no. As long as you have fun, that's what Diablo's <laughs> supposed to do. I'll leave you alone, because that's true. Hold on. What? I can't put it back. Anyways, this concludes this day's show. Normally would do Gamer Corner, but I'm sorry to say this. Seasons are out. So I need to take a two-hour power nap, <laughs> and I need to start leveling like I have no life, which I don't. But... Okay, Hunter, this will be good. So here's the question for next time. Which game do you guys want to see? Next week on Gamer Corner, we're going to be covering either Parappa the Rapper 2 for the PlayStation 2 or Tony Hawk's Scrooge and Place. Dude, the game looks so brand new like on this. Yeah. Or uh, you can... Uh, we'll be doing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. One of the two. Yeah. Next week, so... So, look, send Debo a message with what you want to uh, do. He'll do the tallies and we'll figure it out which most people ask for. So as always, uh, I'm going to be back like in two hours. I'm going to take a quick two hour nap because I didn't sleep a lot. I had to clean my room and get ready for the show today. Nate Dog, I think he's probably going to head out unless he wants to stare at me while I sleep. You will see him next week. We'll upload this episode tonight. And then we'll start doing the new show series, uh, Gamers Corner, where we just go back in the past with some old games and play them on stream, talk about them, and recommend some good games you guys should be going back and playing and enjoying. So as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm leaving. I gotta get a quick two-hour nap, and I promise you I'll be back, and I'll play probably 16 hours straight after I get done. I want to go like a madman. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. I'll do seasons, and I'll be posting on Facebook and Twitter when I go back on. So, say goodbye, Nathan. Peace. See you guys later. I'm Debo, and this is Nate Dog, and we're out.